Hello everyone, in this video, let us take a look at the difference of the UI, the user interface of the cloud versus the server. Now, if you have been using Jira server for a while, I'm sure you are used to it and you are familiar with the various aspects of creating an issue, searching for the information or doing something on Jira instance. Uh, maybe you're looking for uh, some reports. Now, when you work on cloud, let us say your company is uh, thinking of moving to cloud or maybe you are uh, for some reason uh, moving to cloud because you don't really want to maintain your own server and you think cloud is uh, sufficient for your requirements, then the very first thing that you will notice is the user interface. Of course, uh, there are differences of uh, some features and when you talk about the add-ons, not all the add-ons work on uh, the cloud, but uh, in this video, I just want to do a quick uh, comparison of uh, the UI, the user interface. So what I will do, I will show you both uh, Jira Cloud and uh, Jira Server. And uh, the very first thing that we will take a look at is the dashboard. So let us say <clears throat> when you log into your uh, Jira Cloud, this is your dashboard. And uh, if you're not sure how to find your dashboard, if you are not really 100% sure where to start, you can actually expand the sidebar. And when you expand the sidebar, you will get this uh, sidebar. So this sidebar is, uh, of course, uh, something which is not there in uh, Jira server. And if I go to Jira server, the very first thing that you will see is your dashboard. And this dashboard, if you look at it, is nothing but uh, a combination of uh, different gadgets and the dashboard actually looks uh, similar if you reach this place called uh, dashboard you will find that uh, on cloud the dashboard has uh, nothing but uh, different gadgets and you can uh, actually create a new dashboard you can have uh, something similar to your server which is actually a good thing but uh, if you are not entirely sure how to reach your dashboard, then uh, you can uh, probably uh, find it under the sidebar. So the, the very first time when you log into your uh, Jira Cloud instance, uh, you need to expand the sidebar. And uh, when you expand the sidebar, you can find a link called dashboard. So dashboard is fine, but uh, the main difference, as you can already notice, is uh, the navigation. On server, the navigation is actually on top. You have all the links, the important uh, uh, sections like dashboard, projects, issues, board, and uh, basically everything else is on the top. But uh, on uh, cloud, you have everything on the side, and that is why the name uh, sidebar. Now, if you now if you want to do something uh, with, uh, let us say, your uh, JQL, or maybe you want to create a new filter, you can find this uh, issues and filters. Uh, section here and uh, you can uh, search for the information you can uh, create uh, uh, maybe a filter using jql or you can do some basic searching but let us first take a look at the projects so if you click on projects on cloud under the sidebar you can see the list of all the projects which is fine and on top you have the recent projects which is also good and i believe you can also make uh, some of your uh, projects as uh, favorite so you can also do it from top or you can also do it from this list of projects. And if you go to your uh, Jira server, you have the option to find uh, all projects under projects on top. And then you can click on view all uh, projects. Now, uh, this is something similar. It is not massively different. Uh, although Jira Cloud has a different UI, but once you start using it, uh, you will feel at home if you have been using Jira. If you have never used Jira before on server, I think it is always uh, uh, not very difficult because it is nothing but uh, uh, a tool where you can do something and uh, uh, the interface is not really difficult. It is quite intuitive. But if you're coming from Jira server background, I am actually creating this video for uh, those people who just want to do a quick comparison and understand how it looks like. Now let us take a look at the dashboard. And uh, <clears throat> if you click on the dashboard, of course, uh, this dashboard link is actually the third link, which is uh, not the case on server. On server, you can uh, uh, see this dashboard uh, option, uh, which is the first item 
on the navigation so moving on to uh, people people is something that you will probably see when you have the admin rights but uh, uh, right now let us just focus on the use usage aspect usage aspects of uh, jira uh, when you're using jira as a user so let us click on the issues and filters and uh, this actually looks uh, quite similar to the server version so if you go to the issues and if you click on search for issues you will get exactly the same uh, uh, list on the left hand side for example uh, if you want to let us say take a look at some of the filters like my open issues reported by me these are some uh, filters that are already there and you have the same filters here on the cloud like my open issues reported by me and uh, if uh, you want to do a search, you can of course do a search using the basic search or you can uh, type in your GQL. Let us see how we can do the search on uh, cloud. So on cloud, it is not very different. It is actually uh, uh, quite similar to the the old search on the server. Now you can switch to GQL, you can use uh, the, bas the basic search. You can change the view from detail to list. It is uh, again, uh, quite similar to your uh, server version and uh, if you go back to the main menu the last option here is uh, jira settings and on on basically server uh, you can have uh, additional items here based on uh, let us say some add-ons or maybe if you're using jira agile then you will have the option to take a look at the boards but to go to your uh, jira administration you need to click on jira administration on uh, the top right corner on server you have jira settings so these are the main differences but let us also take a look at how you create an issue so on on server uh, you're familiar with this uh, big button on top called create you can either click click on this button or you can uh, go to a specific project where your project will already be selected so if you let us say create a simple jira core based uh, uh, create an issue in a core based project uh, without using any boards or service test, you can select uh, the project name, which is in this case, in my case, uh, a project called legal. Then I can select my issue type, which is, you know, uh, quite ob obvious. So I'll enter a summary and uh, you can also fill in the other, other fields and uh, then click on the button called create. So when you click on the create button, you can take a look at the issue and uh, when you look at the issue, of course, uh, people who are using Jira for a long time, you're familiar with this uh, issue view screen and you have these buttons on top. You can take a look at the workflow. You can add a comment. You can see the people who are associated with the uh, uh, with this particular issue on the on the right hand side and you can see the dates here. And so this is a familiar view. Let us see how it looks like on the cloud. So on cloud, you can click on the plus sign, which is on the left hand side. And uh, when you click on this uh, plus icon you can see here on top uh, that we have a similar view like create issue screen you can select the uh, the project here let it let me select something uh, like task tracking which is uh, a simple business uh, project using jira core i'll add something similar like summary i can add uh, attachment or insert a due date description assignee priority label so this is similar to server but there is a difference if you look at the issue view screen uh, the issue view screen uh, uh, is not exactly like your uh, server although the user interface is different but the functionality is more or less the same so if you compare this with your server version uh, let me first uh, collapse the sidebar so this looks much neat you have less information to worry about, but it is not entirely uh, you know, different. For example, on top, you have the option to attach a file or create a subtask, link issue. Then you have these, uh, three, uh, these three dots. If you click on it, you can uh, probably do something with the apps, which we'll not worry about in this particular video. But uh, if you want to change the status, you can do it from the, uh, uh, from the right hand side and you can uh, change the status if you have let us say multiple uh, statuses uh, in your workflow you can also take a look at the view workflow option here that will display the workflow for you which is in this case very simple workflow but uh, 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 you can uh, see the information about people who are associated with this particular project assignee reporter due date which is also on the right hand side and uh, you have some additional fields displayed on the right hand side so this is 
uh, not massively different, although it is different uh, for someone who is coming to Jira Cloud after using Jira Server for uh, many years. This might seem different, but it is not. Uh, the whole purpose of this new interface uh, on cloud is uh, to make things uh, simpler and uh, easier for uh, the end users. So basically it is, in my opinion, uh, quite intuitive uh, because when you look at Jira Server, uh, Jira Server, when uh, it was get, it was getting uh, developed, uh, initially it was only Jira, then it was uh, basically Jira Core, Jira Service Desk, and Jira Software Development. The UI, the user interface, was actually mm -hmm. uh, never different. Uh, it was uh, quite similar from the very beginning. Uh, but the, the cloud version has uh, some differences. And in this video, I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. And uh, we will make uh, more videos on cloud because uh, these days I'm uh, focused on cloud. I'm trying to uh, create these videos where I'm uh, trying to uh, basically help people who want to adopt cloud because the Jira cloud is also very popular and Atlassian is also pushing for her, uh, the cloud version of uh, Jira. So uh, the whole purpose of my video series is uh, to uh, basically not just cover the usage aspects of Jira, but uh, I want to also cover the uh, administration and uh, customization aspects of uh, Jira. So you can follow my my playlist on uh, Jira Cloud, which where I am basically creating uh, regular videos on uh, only cloud. And uh, from time to time, I'll be doing these uh, comparisons. Like in this video, I did a comparison of Jira Cloud and Server. And this can be useful for someone who is trying to adopt uh, Jira Cloud. People always uh, say that Jira Cloud is uh, very different. Uh, you will, uh, or they will basically uh, not be able to use it. Uh, of course, the features are a bit different, but uh, if you have been coming from the Jira server version, you will not really find it massively different if you spend some time on it. So uh, I hope you learned something new in this video and you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.